Tamari Davis from the United States. 2022 really proved why Davis made the right decision of going pro straight out of high school. I think she's on a huge trajectory to not only do well in 2023, 2024, even 2025, I think for the next decade, we might see some huge improvements and Davis might be making a significant impact in the world of sprinting. Let's dive into her season and see what she's been able to do in this 2022 year. First off, what was her personal best entering the year? Well, back in 2018, she ran 11.13 seconds in June of 2018. She was 15 years old at this point, running 11.13 seconds. Following that up, she actually didn't improve in the subsequent years, right? 11.27, 2019, 11.15 in 2020. Um, of course, that was the off year and then 11.40. Now, in 2020, just I think it was at the end of January after the indoor season um, or in the middle of the indoor season, she went pro um, during her high school career, went uh, forgo the rest of her high school career. I think it was a good decision. Let's take a look at what she was able to do in 2022. At the start of the year, she actually didn't, you know, hit off anything too crazy. 11.61, 11.62, 11.27, a windy 11.06, uh, right? Nothing too crazy. Went down to Jamaica and competed as well. This Puerto Rico Invitational on May 12th, I think this was the start of where her season was really going. 11.24 seconds in the heats, nothing too crazy. But in the final, she finished fourth place and ran 11.08 seconds into a negative 0.8 meter per second headwind. First of all, that was a personal best for her, 11.08 seconds. Remember what I noted, her personal best was 11.13 seconds from all the way back in 2018. So running 11.08 seconds and into a negative 0.8 meter per second headwind was a huge deal, only in May. If we take this time and convert it, right, we take the 11.08 with a negative 0.8 meter per second headwind, that converts to approximately 11.02 seconds, right? Not absolutely perfect, right? Just approximate, but that bodes very, very well. Remember, personal best was 11.15 seconds all the way back in 2018. I cannot highlight this enough. 2018, 11.13 seconds. Guess what, 2022, already starting off with a bang, 11.08 into a negative um, headwind. She follows that up, right, 11.338, nothing too crazy, comes back two weeks later, June 5th, 11.15 seconds in the heats at the Music City um, Track Carnival Festival into a negative 0.7 meter per second headwind. Look at that. In the finals, 10.91 seconds to get the wind and run sub 11 seconds for the very first time. This was a huge performance. She didn't just break 11 seconds. She demolished 11 seconds. She just ran a personal best of 11.08, followed it up with another time of 11.15, and now she's running 10.91. This put her into the conversation of a force to be reckoned with. She's only 19 years old this year, so she was really, really cementing herself. Now, next competition was the USA Outdoor Championships. Gonna be a very tough task, right? You have names like Melissa Jefferson, Aaliyah Hobbs, Tonisha Terry, right? Ja'Carri Richardson was coming into the fold, but she really showed out. Davis really showed out here. In the heats, 11.04 seconds, second fastest time ever, right? In the semifinals, 10.92 seconds. So just off of her personal best, second fastest time ever. In the finals, she finishes fourth place in the USA Championship Finals, running 10.78 seconds. Now, of course, wind aided, right? 2.9 meter per second. If we do that little quick conversion, right? Taking that and we do the um, plus 2.9 meters per second, what does that correct to? 10.93 seconds. So again, approximate, but 10.93 seconds, that shows the consistency that she's been showing up in this entire year, backing up the performances that she's been doing. If this is about 10.93, her um, semifinal race was 10.92, her personal best 10.91, that consistency is showing up when it matters. And again, she got fourth place. Think of all the other people that she beat out to get fourth place at the USA Championships for the world championships that were gonna be on home soil. So she made it into the relay pool. Um, I'll just note, of course, she eventually wasn't using the relay pool at the world championships, but this boded very well for her. Guess what? After the world championships, at the end of July, at the uh, Murphy Classic down in Tennessee, 10.87 seconds in the heats. In the heats, 10.87 seconds. Huge personal best coming off that 10.91 uh, meter per second personal best. She finishes second place to Tanisha Terry in the final, running 10.83 seconds. This was a huge personal best for her. Again, let me highlight, what was her personal best entering the year? 
11.13 seconds from 2018. She had never run faster than 11.13. And now look at all the times that she had done it all throughout 2022 culminating in this personal best of 10.83 seconds. Again, finished second place to Twani Chateri. Twani Chateri ran that amazing anchor leg at the World Championships to get the gold medal for the USA women. But Tamari Davis really showing up here. Now, gonna highlight the rest of the, um, the competitions. Of course, she finished second place at the, um, the Continental Tour meet in Hungary, 10.92 seconds. And then she finished off her season in the 100 meters, Lausanne Dime League, 10.94 seconds, no wind. This was an amazing season. Just look at that consistency. 10.94, 10.92, 10.83, 10.87, 10.78 wind aided, which converts to approximately 10.93, 10.92, 10.91. That consistency is legendary. That is unprecedented in terms of you know what we would have imagined she'd be able to do uh you know I'm, I'm sure there's definitely some people who definitely saw the huge potential but looking at 10.83 look at where she stood on the all-time world junior list now shakari richardson of course from uh that 2019 ncaa championships ran 10.75 seconds that's the world junior record for shakari richardson davis is second place 10.83 seconds world um u20 you know number two all time amazing performance for her but more importantly look at the all-time performances by world under 20 women tamari davis is taking over this list remember all those times i just listed 10.83 10.87 uh 9192 right she's taking over this top list and she's amongst some amazing women right shakari richardson again 10.75 seconds right uh marley's um olsner actually uh, more commonly known as marley's gur uh from gdr right um i think she's a 1980 olympic silver medalist a 1983 world champion in the 100 meter dash right we're talking about amazing women that tamari davis is surpassing right so she really put herself and cemented herself as one of the top athletes in the world not only as a u20 athlete but let's look at the world list when we're talking about world 2022 list tamara davis actually finished number nine in the world this year 10.83 same time as dina asher smith in terms of times for the year just behind 20 shateri ahead of richardson ahead of some you know huge names sturgis um clark nelson kambunji right abby steiner so She's only 19 years old. She is 19 years old. She was still a U20 athlete. Um, her birthday, I think, is in February of, um, right? So February next year, she actually turns 20 um, years old. So she won't be U20 anymore, but 20 years old, and she's already running 10.83 seconds. This is a huge performance and bodes very, very well for what she's going to be doing in 2023. I also want to highlight that Davis is really coming in with a really strong contingent of young sprinters. Everyone from, you know, of course, Hobbs, she graduated LSU in 2018, but she is still very young. Jefferson, just finishing up at the NCAA, went pro this year. Terry, um, of course, Davis herself, Sturgis, Clark. These are all young athletes. Of course, Sherkara Richardson as well. Young athletes that Tamara Davis is coming in to the world with as one of the top 100 meter sprinters um, that the world is really gonna be looking out for. So just wanna highlight Tamari Davis, the amazing season that she had in 2022. Again, I think she's gonna be a force to be reckoned with, not only in 2023 and 2024, but for years to come. She is 19 years old. Next season, she's gonna be 20 years old. She is still very young and is very, very hungry. So let me know what you think of Tamari Davis. Go in the comments. Let me know what you think of her season. Let me know what you think of the prospects for Davis going into the future. And if she's going to be not only maybe one of the top USA women, but also maybe even one of the top women in the world and be a medal contender. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.